Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So a little bit of a different video today. Um, it's a little bit more of like a home vlog rather than a candle review. The reason for that being, and I don't know if you can hear it a little bit in my voice, is unfortunately I have got COVID. Um, I found out on Sunday I lost all my taste, which unfortunately means I've also lost all my smell. So Luckily, I have got some reviews um, that I've already done that are coming up that are already scheduled. But basically, I just wanted to do um, a little video now just to let you know what's going on, just in case the videos suddenly stop and you don't know why. It's because I can't smell them. Um, I'm hoping that it does come back. Um, I'm going to quickly show you a couple of the reviews that I have got coming up. Um, just basically show you a little home vlog, something a little bit different. I've got a new camera, not too sure where I'm looking, if I'm looking in the right place. Um, and it's really bright, so this, just doing a little uh, a little test in today. So yeah, I caught COVID. I don't know how I've got it. I think I might have got it from my other half. Um, he works in London, so I think I got it from him. But very, very grateful that I am double jabbed because I don't think I'm suffering nowhere near as much as what I could have been. Um, I basically just feel like I've got a really bad cold, um, but I'm not, I sound nasally, but I'm not snotty at all, um, and yeah, I just lost all my taste and smell, which sucks, it's awful, I can't taste anything, and obviously when you're not well, you just want to eat certain things, and you really crave certain things, and I'm eating it, and I can't taste a thing, so really disappointed, I'm hoping that comes back, even if my smell doesn't come back quite as quick, but Luckily, I had some reviews already filmed and I've already smelt some scents. Literally, Saturday, I could smell fine. Sunday, gone. Absolutely nothing. So, yeah, if you're double jabbed and you do get it, hopefully it does help you being double jabbed. Um, my other half is not double jabbed and he's coughing quite a lot and I don't have any cough at all. It is literally just, um, I'm very tired and lack of, well, no taste and no smell. So... I'm allowed back out again from Monday. That's when my isolation ends. This video is going up the day I film it. So this coming Monday, I'm allowed out. Hopefully my smell comes back in time for me to get other reviews up. Because um, I think I've only got three or four videos that are already sort of saved, ready to go. So this is why I'm doing this one as well, just to sort of help me along and get another video up. So the reviews that I have got coming up, I know I said I was done with Halloween. I know I said I was done, but I lied. Um, I found this in TK Maxx and as you can see it's a DW home candle and it is a Halloween one and it's Witch's Brew um, and it's massive, look at the size of it and it looks like a latte cup, it's a bit dusty from where I've burnt it and obviously I've already reviewed this but the review is scheduled to go up, um, don't know if that'll be my next video or that'll be next Wednesdays. But I saw this absolutely ages ago on their Instagram page. It's got like the little silicone lid. And I have been burning this underneath my lamp. Um, but obviously I'll talk a bit more about that in the video anyway. Um, absolutely huge. And it was only $7.99. So obviously I won't go into too much detail because you'll see it in the video. But that's one of the reviews I've got coming up. And one of the other reviews I've got coming up is another Rain Sense review. I don't know if you saw my previous video um, where I had like their pick and mix bag. Well, I got some more because the few times I have had their scents, I really, really like them. So this time I will be reviewing and I'm so glad that I managed to review these before my scent went. So we have got their Candyland Bubble Soak, which obviously I know it's not um, wax related, but last time I tried their room spray and absolutely loved it. So we've got that to review. I've got their Champagne Toast Wax Melts. And these, which I love, their little Let It Snow Scoopies. And if I open that, you can see, and you get a little cute little scoop of it. They did these in candy corn at Halloween as well, and I missed them, so I was really sad. But managed to get the Christmas uh, limited edition version. They also gave me some cheeky mince pie little sample, which obviously looks like the scoop is as well. So I've got a review of all of them coming up in one video. Then I've got a couple of others. I've also ordered um, the new Yankee Candle Votifs, the new little glass ones. So I've got three different scents of that. I think I got Soft Blanket. I got uh, Cinnamon Stick and Black Cherry. So obviously I wanted to go for scents that I've had before in the votive format because obviously now this is 
it's different. It's in a glass one. And they're quite expensive compared to the Votif. So again, I'll talk more about it when I do get to doing that video. And these ones are already ready to be reviewed or already scheduled. I've got a couple of others in the pipeline as well that I'm just editing. And I've also got obviously them new votive ones coming, but I will need to be able to smell them before I can review them. So other than that, there isn't a lot going on at uh, uh, Jazzy Wicks HQ, as, as I'm now calling my kitchen while I'm doing my little home vlog. Um, really just sucks just having covid um it's really scary at the fault of i saw my my nan on saturday night before i realized i had it so i have been i've not been the best with covid like i'm not the most strict with doing all the the masks and i've always been a bit blase about it and not too stressed but this has really sort of hit home my nan's 78 and obviously she's she's not in she's not unhealthy but obviously she, got to think of her age and she does have her downfalls and her bad days and now all I'm doing every day is ringing her just saying can you still taste everything can you still smell everything she's double jabbed she's had her booster but it's just scary that the amount of people that I was actually with on Saturday because I was at a Christmas market but I didn't feel unwell at all um and I do I don't know if everybody else has these but in the UK we have like the lateral flow tests which tells you at home whether you've got it um and I've been doing them for quite a few weeks and they always come back negative. Um, I did the proper PCR test Sunday when my taste went and that came back positive. But then I did a lateral flow one again the day before and the day after and they both said negative. So don't trust the lateral flow ones. But again, if I would have felt unwell, I wouldn't have gone out on Saturday. But that's how scary it is. It happened like that. Um, I just woke up Sunday, felt like I had a bit of a cold coming on. And then I started having some lunch and I was like, I can't, I can't taste this at all. So that is how quick it can go. Um, I was unwell a few weeks ago, but again, I think that was just a cold because I'd done the tests and I could still taste everything fine. This time I can tell it is different. I'm so drained. Um, and I just don't know why I sound nasally because I'm not blocked up at all. It is just tiredness and I'm so annoyed I can't taste. Um, and obviously it affects me doing my YouTube reviews if I can't smell. And I can see that some people say it takes up to a month for it to come back. So if I suddenly stop doing videos coming up to Christmas, you know why. Um, I know I showed you my Christmas tree in one of my last reviews. I don't know if I take you off of this. Let me just turn this off. Oh, see, not such a good look once it's... Uh, let me just... Right, so I flipped you around. Let me just, right, so I showed you my Christmas tree, which you probably saw in one of my last videos, but I don't think I had the lights on then. And then if we come through here, this is a proper little home vlog. I've never done anything like this before. This is my little bunny, Roger. Not, don't know if anybody is bothered, but <laughs> he's my little house bunny. And he comes out of this during the day. This is just him locked away for the evening. And the other thing that I actually just wanted to show you was my Christmas chalk wall. Um, so I've showed you guys this before. Excuse any of the mess in the background. I am doing like a little um, craft tidy up. <laughs> so this is my chalk wall for Christmas. I've shown you some before, but I was really happy with this one. All of that rubbish over there is my crafting um, table. So... That's basically my home vlog. I see a lot of other people do this. This is my first one. Don't know if anyone's going to be interested, but it just helps me out to get a video out and just to let you guys know why I might not be um, doing any reviews for a little while. Hopefully it doesn't get to that. Hopefully my scent comes back. But if there's anything through 2022 that you guys want me to review, let me know. Um, if there's any new candles you've heard of or if there's any particular things that you've not seen me to review in that you want me to review even if it's if it's off wax maybe say like yankee candle do other products they do like car products and bits like that if there's anything along those lines that you would rather me review as well um just to mix it up a little bit obviously with rain Sense, i've done one of their room sprays i've got their bubble bath um just let me know the sort of things you want to see into 2022. I will have a little break over Christmas anyway, but I've got some videos coming up before that, so won't end quite yet. Um, 
I'm sort of blinding myself with this new light. I don't quite know if it's too bright. But um, I just want to say, as always, thank you for supporting me. I never, ever thought when I started this channel that I'd even get 100 people subscribed to me. And I'm nearly at 1,000. So absolutely over the moon that everyone loves listening to me yap on about candles and I always try and be as honest as I can be my videos are always a bit short and sweet sometimes not so sweet if the candle's a bit rubbish but I'm I'll never lie if it's rubbish it's rubbish if it's good I'll let you know um so yeah just thank you for supporting me I've been doing my channel for a few years now so really happy that I carried it on and I would like to do a few more videos where I'm on camera as well but obviously I do have a full-time job um, I have like a little Facebook page called Jazzy Designs where I do loads of crafting bits as well, as well as Jazzy Wix. So it's not always convenient for me to be on camera because of how busy I am, but I will try and make more of an effort in 2022. That'll be my New Year's resolution. So thank you for watching. Sorry it wasn't a wax review tonight. Um, and yeah, if I go quiet... Now you know why. But as always, thank you for supporting my channel and I will get them a few re reviews up that I can as soon as I can. And after that, fingers crossed. <laughs> thank you for watching.